The oceans do not only provide food and oxygen, they are also the largest habitat on Earth, until today mostly unexplored. But we also know images like these, turtles caught in parts of fishing nets, coasts polluted by oil, and dying coral reefs. Are the oceans unprotected from human activities? Is it possible to protect the oceans, and how can this be achieved? The framework is the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea from 1982. It obliges states to protect and preserve the marine environment. This is the general obligation on the protection and preservation of the marine environment. In no other area does the constitution-like character of UNCLOS feature more decisively than in its part 12, which deals with the protection and preservation of the marine environment. Until well into the 1950s and 60s, freedom of navigation meant that pollution of the seas could be tolerated or even ignored. Part 12 decisively changed this. Part 12's proactive environmental approach compels all maritime actors, both governmental and private, to actively intervene, not only to prevent pollution, but also to ensure that maritime resources and amenities are preserved as an essential common good of mankind. The framework based on the UN Convention on the Law of the Sea is filled by international conventions and customary international law, as well as by numerous intergovernmental and non-governmental organizations. In addition to the United Nations Environment Program UNEP as the leading global environmental authority, the International Maritime Organization IMO is mandated to prevent and control pollution caused by ships. It is the global standard-setting authority for the environmental performance of international shipping. The IMO is also the secretariat for several international conventions, among others for the International Convention for the Prevention of Pollution from Ships, MARPOL. Regional seas programs are of special importance for marine protection. Today, more than 143 states have joined 18 regional seas conventions and action plans. On the basis of the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, regional seas programs like HELCOM for the Baltic Sea and OSPA for the Northeast Atlantic do play an important role for the protection and preservation of the marine environment. With their measures, like the establishment of marine protected areas, they guarantee the protection and preservation of rare or fragile ecosystems, as well as the habitat of depleted, threatened or endangered species and other forms of marine life. International and regional cooperations are the very basis for the protection and preservation of the marine environment. Nowadays, no one doubts the importance of the general obligation to protect and preserve the marine environment. To dump any kind of waste or material secretly into the oceans is becoming more difficult. Modern surveillance and monitoring technologies from air and outer space identify marine pollution and provide legal evidence. There is still a strong need for international and regional cooperation. New activities constantly challenge the existing framework of marine protection. UNCLOS, in particular, provides the basis to improve and to further develop the protection and preservation of the marine environment.